If you've got pain right here in the front of your shoulder, weakness in your arm, and your symptoms get worse when reaching up overhead, you may have bicipital tendonitis. And in this video, I'm gonna show you the three most up-to-date science-based strategies that you need to repair the damage to that tendon as quickly as possible, eliminate your pain, and restore lost functionality. Strategy number one is stress. And what we're looking to do here is to create a slow, prolonged load that passes through the entire tendon, which is gonna help us to accomplish two things. Number one, it's gonna send a signal for the body to lay down more fibers in the spot where the damage occurred to bring that area up to par with the surrounding tissue in terms of its ability to handle load. So it's going to make a more robust and homogenous tendon. Number two, it's going to physically squeeze all of the liquid out of that tissue and prepare the tendon to absorb more nutrients. To do that, we're gonna be using an isometric version of an exercise called the Bayesian Curl, which is gonna help us specifically target the tendon of the long head of the biceps, where bicipital tendonitis most often takes place. You're gonna need a resistance band and a door anchor for this exercise. Take your door anchor and slide the padded donut end through an open door at the desired height. Make sure that the latch is secure so that your anchor is nice and stable. Then you're gonna take your exercise band Slide it through that padded loop and attach your handles on the clips just like that and you're ready to go. And with that band anchor directly behind you, you'll take one handle in each hand, relax your arms along the sides of your body and then slowly walk away from the band to the point where both arms are gently being pulled back into extension and you're getting a nice light stretch across the front of your shoulders and arms. Then you're gonna go into a split stance with one foot positioned out in front of the other. And in this starting position, your chest should be proud and out in front of your body. Your hands should be aligned behind your body and you should take a nice tall upright posture. Then re-grip those handles and really slowly begin ramping up tension in your biceps, creating a slight bend at your elbows, just like 20 degrees. Then you're gonna hold that position for 10 seconds. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Then slowly ramp tension down in your arms, letting that band win and pull your arms back behind you. Once your elbows get to straight, slowly back yourself out of the position and rest. Strategy number two is nutrients. Now picture this. You've got a brick wall on your property that's got a big hole in it. What's the first thing you're gonna need in order to repair that damage? Bricks, right? Well, when it comes to repairing tendons, collagen is the bricks. Type one collagen all by itself makes up somewhere between 60 and 85% of your body's tendons. And so while you're providing that stimulus that your body needs to repair and build up that damaged tissue, you have to make sure that you have the right nutrients in circulation so that your body has the raw materials to make that repair happen. Multiple studies have demonstrated that supplementing with 10 to 15 grams of high quality collagen peptides increases the rate of collagen synthesis in the body, promotes recovery, increases the cross-sectional area and thickness of tendons, and improve strength when paired with resistance training. The other thing that you wanna make absolutely certain of is that you're consuming your collagen in combination with a high quality source of vitamin C. This large scale review from 2022 found that vitamin C deficiency is associated with a decrease in pro-collagen synthesis and a hindering of the body's tendon repair process. Whereas vitamin C supplementation increases collagen synthesis with a quote, consequent improvement in the patient's condition. Strategy number three is light therapy. One of the biggest challenges to overcoming bicipital tendonitis or any tendinopathy is the fact that tendons in adults have an extremely limited blood supply. And so getting nutrients into the affected area can be really, really difficult. And that's where light therapy comes in. This systematic review from 2015 looked at the literature around using low-level laser therapy specifically for tendinopathy. And what these researchers found is that this type of treatment is capable of not only decreasing inflammation and decreasing pain and dramatically increasing collagen synthesis, but it can significantly increase blood flow into tendons via a process known as angiogenesis, which is the 
formation of brand new blood vessels. And this is a huge deal anytime you're trying to repair damaged tissue inside of tendons and ligaments. And more often than not, the device that I reach for when treating bicipital tendonitis and shoulder problems in general is this one. This is the Move Plus from a company called Kineon. And unlike all of my other light therapy devices, and I've got quite a few, this one is actually battery powered. It's also super lightweight and portable, which means that I can just strap it on, position the modules over the tissues that I'm looking to treat, push a button, all three modules activate simultaneously, and I can just go about my day. And with three different treatment modules, I can treat three separate areas at the same time. So in this case, with bicipital tendonitis, I can position one module directly over the bicipital groove and hit that tendon of the long head of the biceps, hit the rotator cuff at the exact same time, and get to those hard to reach tissues in the armpit simultaneously. Now, each of those three treatment modules features 10 near-infrared laser diodes that are working at 808 nanometers, and an additional eight deep red LEDs that work at 660 nanometers. So you're getting the best of both worlds, both red and near-infrared light therapy at the exact same time. And with the built-in timer, it allows you to just go about your day while you're getting your treatment so that you never miss a session. To find out more about the Move Plus from Kineon, click the link here. And for anyone out there who's got shoulder instability or rotator cuff problems on the same side as their bicipital tendonitis, this is an important video to watch. And finally, if you're interested in learning about the nutrition that's required to build the strongest and healthiest ligaments and tendons, I've got a brand new ebook that talks all about that and you can access it for free. I'll put a link to do that in the description down below. Beyond that, I just want to thank you so much for watching. Make sure to hit the thumbs up button and the subscribe button before you head out of here and I'll see you next time.